You want to shake your hand again? No, 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 no. I, I did that already. I want to see her panties. Oh, no! I have a line! I have a line and I am drawing it! Greetings, my beautiful viewers! I am the Hunter of Comedy, and welcome back to AI The Somnium Files! And we have gone all the way down the rabbit hole, tending to just believe everything that Iris said, even against Iba's wishes, which Iba was right! She has a brain tumor. Or, if we're doing the ult like the, the, uh, the parallel universe thing, maybe in this universe that, um... All these things she's talking about are real. Who knows? We don't know. We're going to find out. Oh. Oh, right, because we found the dead body. But then we went back and did that. That's so bad at the car again. We're at the Kumakura office again. Asking them what we should do. What the... Where is everyone else? Can I look behind me? I can, kinda. I do like the music for the Kama... Uh, the Kamakura. The Kumakura office. I keep saying Kamakura because that's, um... You know, a character in the Danganronpa series. So, yeah. Uh... About... Nice. Sorry. Never heard of them. Are they even real? Yes! Oh, yeah, I mean, of course. <laughs> I've always known, deep down, there must be some kind of secret organization. Oh god, he's watching his favorite idol, like, you... It's like watching them become a, <laughs> a, a, like, a conspiracy theorist. Always known it. God, everyone just looks at me. More! Anyway, I, I got some info about the shootout. Those guys aren't affiliated with any criminal organization we're aware of. They're not Mafia, or Yakuza, or anything. They must have been hired guns. Uh, by... Niza... M M Mattis. It's Nizet Laws! Nizet Laws! Nizet Laws! They are Nizet Laws! They are, they are the in-laws! They are the not laws! They are the Nizet Laws! I'm sorry. When you told me you were coming, I made them leave. Can't let them see me with Tessa. Okay, where's Renju? Unfortunately, I don't have anything new for you, but uh, I did find out a little nugget of info you might want to hear. That is? I'll tell you, but uh, Date, come over here. Again with this? With his arm over my shoulder, Moma leads me to the corner of the room. I'll tell you, Date, but. Gotta do something for me. What do you want me to do, dude? You want to shake your hand again? No, 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 no. I, I did that already. I want to see her panties. Oh no! I have a line. I have a line, and I am drawing it. I but back me up on this one, please. I'm sorry. I, I, I want to see Tessa's panties. No, no, that is wrong. I really, really. Really want to see? You gotta let me get a peek. No, I am her bodyguard, and I will protect her body from everyone, including you. Especially when you're doing that, dear God, to stop doing that. She's not gonna let you. Well, can you at least ask? Unbelievable. I will ask. Oh God, Momo and I went back to where we were. Iris, could you do me a favor? Mm -hmm. This guy wants to see your panties. She hit me hard. That's messed up, Date. He's not lying, but because of the boob thing earlier, she thinks he is. Uh, oh my god! Oh, what what is going on? The glitch is back. I know Momo would never say that, right, Momo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, Date, you evil. 
I am gonna fuck you up, dude. Seriously? You just want a handshake, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I tried to tell him. Fuck you. You! Dante, this, this is the happiest day of my life. His rings are floating off of his hand. I thought that was yesterday. Okay. More about Renju. Oh, wait, what's this intel you got? Check it out. Friday night near Bloom Park, someone saw Renju. Friday night? That's when Shoko was killed. Obviously, that's not enough to pin the crime on him, but it does prove he was there. I guess we should check the merry go round yet. The police have already thoroughly searched it, and we've been there more than once before on our investigation. But we might have missed something, right? Okay. Anything from Iris? Uh, how's school? School? Today's Tuesday. It's not another holiday, is it? What are you? Dense? Tessa was almost kidnapped. She can't be going to school now. I guess that's true. All right, uh, do you want to call your mom? Well, that's random. I just thought she might be worrying. It's fine. She knows already. I told her I'm with you. I'm sure she's not worried. Yeah, I'm sure that you like you stayed with a police officer you barely know in a hotel room last night. I'm sure she's not worried at all. See, I was gonna say, God, you're dumb, but I don't think it's the fact that she's dumb. I think it's because she has a brain tumor. Maybe Mr. Okiro was a part of Mice. What? Oh, sorry. I was just thinking out loud. What makes you think that? When we were at Sunfish Pocket, my friend said. He was looking for Iris. I remember that. And then later. I almost got kidnapped by knives. Was that just a coincidence? Mm. And not just that. When you found my corpse in the parallel world, you found it in an Okiara warehouse. Whoever killed me in that world was probably affiliated with knives. That makes me think the Okiaras and knives are connected. God. Maybe Nice ordered Mr. Okiara to help number 89 escape. And number 89 is an assassin. If he wanted to get rid of me, Mr. Okiara must have... If that's true, it could be related to Shoko's murder. Shoko must have found out about the organization. He killed her for getting too close, then displayed the body as a warning. All come back to Nice. Once we solve the mystery of Nice to us. Nice. I don't. I can't. I cannot say it properly unless someone says it first. Everything else will fall into place, or so I thought. If you want to know more about Nice, why not ask Ota? Remember what he said yesterday? I know about conspiracies and secret societies too. I find that stuff fascinating. Okay. Good point. You might have more information for us. Summarize. Three places we can go. First, Bloom Park. Curious about Renju being seen there Friday. Second is Matsushita Diner. Want to ask Ota more about Nice. Third is the Se Seijima residence. Seijima is probably the one responsible for Iris' murder in the parallel world. In which case, he might be a part of Nice. I need to confront him. Okay. Let's go, Iris. Oh, yeah! You're taking Tessa with you? She'll be safer here! I can't do that. I made her a promise. I will be Iris's garter belt. Or what? Uh, I meant bodyguard. A Freudian slip, no doubt. Well, whatever. But if you're gonna leave, you should take this with you. Uh, Momo opened his desk and took out a small object. What's this? A GPS transmitter. Momo, Iris's phone already has GPS. I know, but in case she gets caught and they throw away her phone or something, it's just an extra precaution. Put it somewhere they won't find it. Thank you. Momo? 
for being crystal clean. Why do you have that? <clears throat> I always took the GPS transmitter and hid it in her clothes. I hope it'll be useful. Date, if anything happens to her, I'll make sure you regret it for the rest of your life. I'm regretting it right now. It'll be fine, relax. Alright. Let's go to Bloom Park first. Alright, so we're back at Bloom Park. Took Iris to Bloom Park. I took my time checking every inch of the merry-go-round. There's nothing here. Guess not. Why did Renju come here Friday night? Was it to place Shoko's body here? Or did he have another reason? Renju is my friend. I want to believe him. But I don't know how long I can keep defending him. Where is he? What is he doing? Thought it over a thousand times. My head is heavy with it. I was uh, suddenly snapped me out of it. Want to race, Dante? Race? Yeah, we talked about it yesterday. All right. You want to challenge me? Well, sure. Yeah, let's do it. We'll start here and end here. So we race around the merry-go-round. Right. Line up next to me. Before I even had a chance to reply, Iris got set. I guess I have no choice. I line up next to Iris. Okay, here we go. Ready, set, go! I couldn't believe my eyes. I thought I must be dreaming. The second I started the race, I was already two paces behind her. I couldn't close the gap. I watched her back get smaller and smaller. Damn. See? Told you, Iris is the messenger of the gods. You've earned your namesake. <laughs> Do you know a lot about mythology? Huh? You said that Iris is a goddess in Greek mythology. And three days ago, you were talking about Egyptian mythology. Horus is the Egyptian god of the sky and sun. The right eye is the eye of Ra, and that's the sun. The left eye is the eye of Wajet, and that one is the moon. Huh. That's what I was told me two days ago. Which matches up with the whole theme they're going with, with like the left eye being the like Wadget for the Wadget system. Horus's left eye is the eye of Wadget. Does that have any relation with the Wadget system? Oh, mythology? I actually don't know that much. Uncle taught me everything. Huh. Six years ago, I used to come here with someone all the time. I used to call him Uncle. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Didn't he come up with Aset, too? Yeah, that's right. That name is rooted in Egyptian mythology, too. Okay, uh... How'd you get so fast? I told you yesterday. I love moving around. And I especially love dancing. <laughs> but... Hmm? About three months ago, Mr. Okira told me something. He said that I can't dance. Why? I don't know. He said something about being over-reliant on dancing and neglecting my singing. You should stop dancing for now and practice singing. But during your live stream... She was dancing. Because I was... sad. After I stopped dancing, I lost so many fans. They said terrible things to me. Like that I'm worthless if I can't dance. Well, they're horrible people then! Fuck those people! All I have is dancing. Just dancing. Hmm. How about Aset? Horus's mom is named Isis, but in ancient Egyptian, it's pronounced closer to Iset or Aset. Hmm. How do I explain this? Hmm. Horus's father's name is Osiris, 
and his mom's name is Isis, so Osiris is Isis's husband. Osiris was assassinated by his brother Set. After Set killed Osiris, he tore his body to pieces and threw it into the river. Isis was devastated. Sounds like it. I can't believe I'm a widow at my age. But she didn't let it break her, because she had the power of life and death. All right, fine. If that's how it's gonna be, I'll just revive my husband. With a group of her friends, she gathered up Osiris's body and started the resurrection ritual. Live! Shkrr! And so, Osiris was revived! Well, technically he wasn't all there, so he wasn't in one piece. But anyway, Isis was the goddess of life, death, and fertility. She was worshipped by all the land. Okay. Oh. I think I get the picture, but what does that have to do with your own name? There's a theory that the Greek goddess Iris is really based on the Egyptian goddess Isis. So Isis and Iris are connected. Yeah. And Isis sounded like Aset in ancient Egyptian, which is where your stage name comes from. That's right. But remember, I didn't come up with the name. Her uncle. Huh. Uh, what about the eye of Horace's Jeff? arch enemy was Set, his uncle. His uncle. I told you earlier, Horace's father was Osiris, who was assassinated by his younger brother Set. Right, I see. Not only was he killed, he was shredded to pieces. So obviously Horace was pissed. Drat! I'll never forgive you, Uncle Set. On the other hand, Set didn't like having Horace around. Ugh, he's so annoying. Osiris said that I was supposed to be king. But now everyone's like, oh, Horus should be king. Are these idiots serious? Horus would be an awful king. Time to go to war. And so a bloody war broke out. Just like that. This almost sounds like drunk history. If you guys have ever seen drunk history, it's fucking hilarious. But yeah, this feels like drunk history. And the winner was decided by a deadly game. What kind of game? They would disguise themselves as hippos, ford the river, and whoever gets to the other side first would win. That's what they decided. How oddly specific. Yeah. So, for 80 years they fought. 80 years? Took them 80 years to do this! It was bloody and horrible. And? Who won? In the end, Horus won. So, uh, that's kind of what I was figuring. Horus used a spear to cut off Set's foot and Wee Wee. Wee Wee? I believe she is referring to a male. Wait, why are you asking me? But Horus didn't come out of this unscathed. During the battle, Horus lost his left eyeball to Set. It said that the left eye survived and traveled all over Egypt, gaining wisdom and experience. Horus had no idea that his left eye was wandering around on its own. What? Where did my eye go? Horus was totally bummed out. He went to see the god of wisdom, the moon, and time, Thoth. Damn, Set did that? That's brutal, dude. All right, I'll use my moon power to heal you up. Yay, thank you, Mr. Thoth. Okay, here it goes. Moon healing power. That was an obvious Sailor Moon reference. Ring, ring, ring. Thoth cast his spell and Horus's eye came zooming in. Zoom, click. Horus got his eye back. But... And from that day forward, his left eye had the power of the moon in it. It became the symbol of knowledge and healing, and revered as a sacred icon. So that's the eye of Wadjet? Right. And it became the eye of Providence? Yes. And do you think that's why we call it the Wadjet system? Probably, yeah. Hmm. Now I'll summarize for me. In the end, we didn't find any new information on Renju. But I'm not too upset. This is what a criminal investigation is about. You don't always find what you're looking for. Let's get going, Iris. Yeah, let's go. Uh, let's go to the Sejima residence first. There's no one in the garden. No one here. Wonder if he's dead. Still must be inside. Wait, I have detected a living organism in the garden. You should look around. A living organism, huh? I don't see nothing. 
island? Small island is Kojima in Japanese. The director Kojima? He's here? It honestly wouldn't be that weird for him. But he's not there. Oh, oh really? Okay, the stone. Where's the life signal coming from? The bush! It's a giant green blob. If four connect, they disappear. Uh, never mind. It's a plant. It's a plant. Weird. Okay, you already checked that rock. What about this rock? No. It's not a blob. No. 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 Maybe the lantern. It's a garden lantern. I said garden lantern, not hardened lanyard. I'm aware of that. Mansion. No one is inside. Okay. Not a blob. Not behind the trees. There's something in the water. Uh, what about that rock? Oh god, I missed them completely! Whoa, what are they talking about? That's so next to him is Hitomi? It looks that way. Why? What's Hitomi doing with so? Date? What's wrong? Iris hasn't noticed them yet. I didn't notice them! I decided to ask her about them. You said you don't know So Sejima, right? Right, I don't. What about your mom? Does she know So? I don't know. I don't think she does. Do you ever talk politics at home? Anything like that? Not particularly. Why are you asking me this? It was at that moment. Two bodyguards dressed in black came running out of the mansion. They had panicked look on, looks on their faces. We told you, you can't come in here. You can't do what you want just because you're a cop. You're trespassing. That's a crime, you know. Get lost. No use pushing. If they called HQ, we'd get arrested for sure. What would happen to Iris? Who would protect her? Nah, it's a, it's a huge organization. They have people everywhere. I can't risk being caught. And I wouldn't be able to save Iris. Fine. Let's go, Iris. Yeah. Oh, that was certainly strange. Matsushita Diner. Well, let's see what Ota knows. Oh, Ota and Mizuki are there. Nice at loss. I see. It's not impossible. Ota speaks softly to himself, looking deep in thought. I don't think he believes. You know where your father is, Mizuki. If you're asking me, he's involved in all this, isn't he? Is he the culprit? Did he really kill mom? Well, I guess it's understandable that he'd be a suspect. After mom got killed, he didn't even call. And he called me out to Blue Park for some reason. I thought it was suspicious, but, but I pretended not to notice. I didn't want to acknowledge it. I wanted to believe in Daddy. Oh, poor thing. Oh, so why are you here? Well, Ota... Date, can I... Uh... Ota gestured and walked over to the corner of the room. What's, uh... Quietly stood up and followed. Look, I was gonna let you have it, but under the circumstances... What are you talking about? Mizuki, of course. You've been neglecting her. Don't you think she's at her limit? Mizuki stayed at one of the mermaid's houses last night. She was twisting and turning all night. They had to sleep in the same bed so she'd calm down. She called me this morning so I could pick her up. Normally, she'd be in school, but Mizuki had the day off for morning. I thought that she shouldn't be alone. Why don't you try being nicer to Mizuki? I know she doesn't show it, but she's really hurting. She needs you, Date. She just doesn't want to trouble you. She's a remarkable, brave young girl. She is. God, I love Mizuki. 
You should try to understand how she feels. I did in her ending. About Iris. Who is Iris to me? A friend? A big sister? And I kinda envy her. No, oh, stop it! It's true though. I look up to you a lot, Iris. <laughs> That's adorable. <sighs> About Mizuki. Mizuki is like a cute little sister and and my favorite friend. I like her a lot. How much? About three universes worth, but just three universes? That's a lot, little girl! Then again, she's 12. I keep forgetting this. 271,828,182,845 universes. Well, I like you double that. Hey, no fair. Also, you could just say, you know, a trillion. <laughs> then you win. Okay, aren't you cold? Iris, you look cold. You okay? Yeah, fine. I just get cold easily. Okay. The room is 74 degrees Fahrenheit at 62% humidity. Not conditions often considered cold. Yeah. Ota. Ota's like my big brother. He's a hero who will help me out of any jam. He's really important to me. I like him a lot. How much? Three Earths worth. What is this indescribable feeling of loss? Three Earths is a big dude! Come on! I mean... Three Earths is pretty big. Nice, nice. <laughs> oh boy. About Nazit Laws. I've heard of them. Nizet Laws, or Nice, is a satanic secret society. Like a cult. Okay, we are in another universe then, definitely. They sacrifice children while the sacrifice is up all night screaming. The cult performs ritual acts. Their ranks are full of politicians, intellectuals, and business tycoons. They've only been active for a few decades, but some say that they've grown to be the largest secret society in the world, an organization so big that it absorbed the Freemasons and the Illuminati. I don't believe that? But even though their membership is huge, no one knows who their leaders are. Like, you've heard of the Rockefellers and the Rothschilds, right? But for Nice, there's nothing. No one knows who's running the cult. My guess is that they're being led by a group of super geniuses. Or AI. Lotan doesn't know about the Wanjet system or its connections to Nice. Iris found out just why they're after her. Pieces fit. If you believe everything she said. Uh, I, I like that she's still skeptical. Tessa is... My hopes and dreams, my peace and my life. You should care more about your actual life. My light, my star, my sun, my goddess. Why is the sun always capitalized? She's like the loss of the universe itself. The embodiment of beauty. An angel, a lover, a cute mascot to put on a body pillow. Punch him! Punch him in the teeth! A guru, a wife, a soulmate, life itself. She's the object of my total devotion and worship. Snuck lover and wife in there. I would ignore it. Yeah. And like I told you before, I'm Tessa's thrall. If she calls for me, I'll be there. Thanks, Ota. That makes me happy. So I'm just going to say something. Her having a brain tumor does also explain her actions in the other timeline. Like, when she hid her phone underneath her desk, uh, well, not her desk, uh, underneath the table to text Ota, it may not have been, like, she is insanely smart and good at manipulating people, but, or maybe, no, in that timeline she was, but in this timeline, yeah, she does it a little bit, but nowhere near to the same regard. I don't know. It could be that the, the brain tumor made her ask Ota for help, and the reason she likes Ota so much is because he's always there to help her. So, uh, where's your mother? She's out right now. I'm not sure where. Shopping, maybe. I'd summarize. All right, Iris, let's get going. You got it. Date, if something happens to Tessa, let me know, okay? Okay. I'll come help right away. 
Me too! I'll save you no matter what, Iris! Thank you both. Promise me. I promise. Mm, I promise nothing. I don't think I've got anywhere else to go. Oh, marble. Oh, right! We were gonna go there and then we got attacked. We gonna get attacked again. Ooh! Stock footage. Sunset. Cage! Where are we going next? Marble. The Golden Yokocho. Wasn't that where we were attacked by Nice? It'll be fine. I didn't tell anyone we were going there. They won't be waiting for us. Besides, they wouldn't ambush us in the same place twice. But why Marble? No reason. I just need to talk to Mama. Hmm? Okay. Oh! Stock footage, cage, sunset! Ace! Stock footage, cage, sunset, ASAT! I don't know, I'm horrible at that. Uh, Tuesday, 5.36. Okay. Sorry I couldn't come last night. No, no. Don't worry about it. It was better that you didn't. Huh? You didn't hear? There was a shootout right in front of the bar. They closed all of Golden Yokocho down. Huh? They were saying something about hitmen suddenly pulling out guns and shooting. They were trying to kill a man and a woman. Wow, boss, you never put it together? Wait a minute. There we go! Good job, Mama! Yep. <laughs> God, that was hilarious. Like, you, you, all of us were waiting while that pause happened. I loved it. Introduce Iris. Let's do that. Sorry for the late introduction. This is Iris. Nice to meet you. I'm Aset. You bet. Oh, sorry. Have it. I meant Iris. Oh my, you are so cute. Are you a virgin? You are right. Why is that important to you, Mama? You asked that last night. Oh, well, yeah. What a coincidence. Me too. That would make sense. You are an AI. You do not have reproductive organs. Oh, you don't say. Nice at laws. Sorry, honey, but I don't know a thing about that. You're an informant. I'm sure you must know something. I'm well versed in local information. I know all about Tokyo's underworld, but I can't say much about the rest of the world. Oh, that's fair. About the armed men. I think they must be foreign mafia. Some kind of international organization. They would do anything for money. Nice must have hired them. Now summarize for me. Mama, I want to ask you something. What is it? Those gunmen were waiting for us. Did you tell anyone we were coming? That's right. You did tell Mama that you were coming and that you were bringing Iris. Hmm. Well, I did tell one person. Who? The person I was going to have you meet, of course. Same guy who gave Ren his watch. What's his name? Futa, I think. Hold on a sec. He said that he got his watch from his new lover. Oh! Oh, so he's bisexual. I'm getting that now. Futa Amanoma. Oh my god. Pewter! What? Oh my god! I knew it! He is a villain! Look at him! Okay. Uh, want a drink? No, I'm okay. What should we ask? Mama, what are you doing? Hmm, just polishing the bonito. It is not well known, but dried bonito is a fermented food. They are boiled and dried, which attracts a particular mold as it ages. It takes between three to four mold attraction sessions and results in high quality bonito. Mama is cleaning off the mold right now. Interesting. Hmm. She's a delight. No, aren't you nice? Are you looking for a job? Iris is still in high school. How about after you graduate? Starting rate is six million yen an hour. Date, 
I need a body so I can work here immediately. You won't get hired looking like that. <laughs> but dude, so wait. So Pewter, are you telling me that Pewter is Renju's new lover? My God, is Pewter the villain after all? I kind of made it a joke, but I mean like, oh my God. I wonder if it is. And Pewter did say he was out drinking last night. Police headquarters, 705. There's no one here. Maybe he went home. No, that can't be. Pewter is definitely around here somewhere. Date, your intuition is correct. I am detecting a living organism nearby. I knew it. Hmm. Is Pewter in here? No, he's not. <laughs> There's that bastard. Wait a minute. Uh, okay, I'll tell you everything. Yeah, you will. I don't know what's going on. You told those men that Iris and I were going to Golden Yokocho, didn't you? Yes, I did. Renju hired them. Renju did? Which means Mr. Okiura is in with Nice. Nice? Don't play dumb. I know you're with them. I don't know what you're talking about. I was just helping Renju. Did you help number 89 get away? How much does she know? Just answer the question. Yes. I did. It's been bothering me. Yeah, that made sense. He didn't, um, he didn't help at all with that whole situation. How was number 89 able to escape from Metro so easily? And you were the one being held hostage. If you were helping him the whole time, it all makes sense. It does. Oh, uh, what's with the cat on your waist? I don't know. It's random, but... I've always wondered this. The cat on your waist. What is that? Oh, this? It's Bastet. Bastet? A cat goddess. Why are you asking me now? I don't know. I'm gonna reassure her. Everything's gonna be good. I'm sorry you had to see this. It's fine. Don't worry. I won't kill him. Then can I leave? No! Sure. If you don't mind me breaking every one of your fingers. Then I'd rather not. Ha ha ha! Introduce Pewter. This is Pewter. Oh, uh, hi. Nice to meet you. Hello. I'll have to give you my card later. I have a feeling that if I reached to my pocket, I would get my head blown off. Probably right. I don't trust you right now, Pewter. About Renju's watch. Is it true that you were the one who gave Renju his watch? Yes. That's true. There was no need to ask anything else. Why did Pewter help Renju? This last answer was all I needed to hear. They're not gonna flash back. Okay, they're, they're. Oh god, it's stupid that they're not addressing it. He said that he got the watch from his lover, which meaning Renju's new lover is Pewter. Okay, so why did uh, Renju escape with eighty nine? I don't know. It's true. Please, believe me. Renju said that he needed him. That's all I know. Okay. About 89's escape. Two days ago, Renju escaped from the hospital. Renju asked me on the phone to report everything about Shoko's murder case. That's what he wanted. Yesterday, the boss told me that number 89 was coming. Then, Renju asked, Is there any way we can let number 89 Escape! I was conflicted. I thought hard about it, but it was Renju asking. Someone I love. And he sounded like he was on death's doorstep. He was begging for help. I couldn't say no. With my intelligence, I was quickly able to come up with a plan. Well, Pewter... 
I get why you did it, and I'm not as angry with you anymore. You know what the results were. Hmm. About 89's escape. The escape happened exactly how I described earlier, though I wasn't being threatened with a gun. You were acting, huh? Just pretending to be his hostage. Yes. Did number 89 know about the plan? Of course. We discussed it when we were alone in the interrogation room. Naturally, he agreed. I imagine he would have taken any possibility of escape. Even if we failed, he was already serving a life sentence. Why was the boss not present at 89's interrogation? I may not look it, but I have connections high up at HQ. Friends from my college days. I asked one of them to call up the boss. Where's Renju? I see. So where's Renju? Even if I knew, why would I tell you? Because you don't want more holes in your body than you already have. <clears throat> this is a good point! You can't. Why not? Date, I didn't tell you all this because you were threatening me. I genuinely wanted you to know. To understand. The truth, Date. What are you talking about? There's a variable you haven't considered. I made Aiba. And? You don't get it? Date, his hands! Uh, Date! <sighs> Come with me. Oh god! God, where is this leading to? Damn it, Pewter! Date, calm down or it will compromise your ability to drive. If you crash, you will not be able to save Iris. Where is she? I don't know. So then where the hell am I going? How would I know that? You acted on your own. What about her phone's GPS? I tried. It's been turned off. Then... The other GPS, morons! It's just an extra precaution. Good job, Moma! Put it you, somewhere they won't find You creepy son of a bitch, you came through for us in the end. Iba, call Moma now. On it. Hey, Dante, what's up? I explained the situation as fast as I could. Nasa, Nasa got kidnapped. Dante, you bastard! I know, I know. Yell at me later. Right now, I need you to tell me where she is. After a short pause, Yoma, um, Yoma, Yoma yelled out. <clears throat> Koto, Ariake, Harbor Warehouse District. What? That's where the cold storage warehouse is. That's where I saw Iris' dead body. Hey, are you listening, asshole? I've got it, thanks. I'm on my way there, too. Good. Oh my god! Oh, God, it's all going somewhere, but I don't know where! God damn! Uh-oh. Oh, that's, that's, that's boot. That's boot, that's boot! I'm guessing we're at the end of whatever this is. Look at all the people. Hey, there's a path along the ceiling. Just gotta get up to the roof. He has a grappler thing in there, doesn't he? That's a lot of guards. Those are the guys who attacked us at Golden Yoga Chip. The mercenaries. How many? I detect more than we can see. They are positioned all over the area, surrounding the warehouse. Arm. Each of them carries an assault rifle. Getting through will not be an easy task. <sighs> Looks that way. There are portable barricades set up in two areas in front of the warehouse. Portable? They can be moved and erected easily. Hmm. Mm. 
Okay. Barricade. Barrels. Is there anything else I need to find, I guess? Oh, come on. What 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 else do I need to look at here? I've 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 scanned everything I can. Oh, it wants me to do that. Okay. Maybe it. Okay. What? Wait. It says something again. Oh, come on. Yeah, I get that. It's a fucking barricade. Let me move on, game! <coughs> it keeps telling me, like, you know, B! Exit! Okay! What do you want me to look at? Okay, guys, I don't know if I've encountered a glitch or something, but I can't do anything. I can't move forward. If I use the zoom in, there's nothing else to look at. Tons of enemies! Oh, a barricade! What do you want from me, game? It keeps telling me go back. Okay, I tried loading it just in case, but like I can't do anything. It, it there's it won't let me do anything. I can't look at the crane. I can't look at the warehouse. I can't look at the sky. I can't look at the ground. What do you want, game? Okay. There we go. It wanted me to look at that so far away in a tiny little section. I couldn't see anything. There's a black van parked at the end of the hall. No shit. Anyone inside? There are two ways to find out. Walk over, knock on the window, and open the door. Or you can use the X-ray mode. Well, god damn it. There's the van. Well, found Iris. That's... It's Iris. Damn it. Is she okay? Unknown. Uh, but at least we know she's alive. The issue now is reaching her. Dear God, that took way longer than it should have. Oh, what up, Mama? Let's do this. Hold on. Are you dense? They're gonna blow your brains out. They got guns? Yeah, not just one or two. They all have assault rifles, and they're everywhere. You can tell. Even in the dark? Have you forgotten that I found out what was inside your safe? <laughs> I have superpowers. I can see in the dark, and I have X-ray vision. Oh, shit, you were serious? <laughs> I nodded and told him about the rest. That Aris is uh, in the van at the end of the harbor. And there are two uh, uh, portable barricades in the way there. After I laid it out, I stared into his eyes. We need a plan. Can you help me? Yeah, sure I can. But I need to ask you a few things first. All right. Oh, well, you have an ATV. That appears to be a military-grade all-terrain vehicle. Moma, that vehicle, that's one of ours. I got it from the army. It's bulletproof, even the windows. I thought you were trying to run a non-violent gang. Well, that's exactly why. We got rid of our offense, so we needed a little defense. I suppose that makes sense, in a way. It actually does. Uh, an ATV, huh. <laughs> it's completely bulletproof. That's gonna be useful. What do you want to ask? The jackoff who took Tessa. Pewter, right? What's his deal? I think Renju asked him to do all of this. Renju? I told Moma about Renju and Pewter's relationship. Oh, that's right. Renju was looking for Tessa. Not only that, in a parallel world, I found Iris's body in Pokiora Fishery Whip. I've got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, me too. What's your second question? So these bad guys, why did they take Tessa? The van's at the end of the row. Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse is right there. They must be planning on taking her inside. Right now, they're probably getting it ready. They've got lookouts waiting outside. All right, what do you want to ask? Number three. Tessa's in the van down there, right? Yeah. In that case, why don't we go around the back? Unfortunately, that is impossible. The warehouses are flush with the water. The only path to the van is down the front. I relay that information to MoMA. Shit. Guess it won't be that easy. Alright. Before we summarize, unfortunately, we are out of time for this episode. Fuck, man. 
We are getting to the end of this, man. I, I figure that this is probably close to the end of this particular little uh, journey here. Certainly looks like it's probably going to expand a little bit further to uh, the left there and be at the end of that one. Man, this is really, really interesting, though. I've really enjoyed it. But, uh, yeah, I would say this is about where this one's going to end. But, like I said, we're going to have to wait for next time. So, thank you, everybody, so much for watching. I appreciate you being here with me. Man, I wasn't expecting all this. I mean, like, I wasn't expecting Pewter to be the one to betray us. And, like, you know, so now we know that he is um, Renju's lover in other timelines. So... God, it, it actually makes sense why Pewter seems so upset about, like, um, he was pretty upset about Renju's murder, which makes sense now, now that we know this. So, yeah, next time we're going to move forward and we're going to see what we can figure out about uh, all this. And with a bulletproof vehicle, that's going to make things a little bit easier. But either way, thanks again. And until next time, have yourselves a beautiful day, my beautiful, beautiful viewers.